Spencer from Five Eyewitness News filling in today. Hello, everybody. Okay, so Matt, this is the time of year when you can serve a spread that will impress all of your family and your friends at your next yes. holiday party or your housewarming party that you have coming yeah, up. Yeah, I know. It's getting good ideas. This would be perfect ideas. for your party. So a bruschetta bar is a great way to have guests create their favorite snack or just try something new, kind you, of all the options. For sure. You can select your favorite ingredients, spreads, and dips, and then you serve it with crostini and bruschetta. Bruschetta. Here to help, we welcome back the creator of the Food and Lifestyle blog. So happy you liked it. Jamie Price is back with us on Twin Cities Live. Jamie, nice to Hi, see nice you. Hi, nice to see you guys, too. This looks too. incredible. Oh, my All gosh. Right. It's so beautiful. First and foremost, you guys said two variations, Tomato right? and tomato yep, is what yep, we did. What do you tomato. want us to say? Bruschetta. So uh -huh. technically, bruschetta. bruschetta is the proper pronunciation, okay. how to mm. say it, although many people say bruschetta, which is... Fine. So like right. a hard it's fine. K sound. It's fine. It's fine. No pressure. But bruschetta is the technical. You don't term. have to get crazy like bruschetta. Right. Yeah. You can just say yeah. bruschetta. Yes. Oh, I will Absolutely. now. Okay. Yeah. But is a crostini yes. the same as a bruschetta? Yeah. Technically. So here's what I wanted to show. So okay. uh, bruschetta is typically um, fr sliced from a larger loaf, oh. right? And it's grilled and rubbed with garlic. Love it. So that's Perfect. what I did for those. And then a crostini is from a smaller baguette, prepared similarly, but I just drizzled it with some olive oil and then some salt and pepper. Oh, yeah. simple. So, so this is simple. the idea, because I always wonder when you do like a bruschetta, yeah. if when you do it as an appetizer, sometimes I feel like it can get like a little soggy right. as it sits because you have sort of like right. a tomato and onion thing yeah. sitting on the bread. And and then you end up with kind of a mushy mess. So right. you're sort of solving that mm -hmm. problem by yes. turning it into almost more right. of like a charcuterie board. So what's your exactly. strategy here? Yes. So that's why this is a great approach to take is so everyone can build their own. Yeah. Create their own adventure, mm -hmm. if you will. Um, so we have a variety of different meats and cheeses and fruits and spreads. Um, we're actually going to make one thing. Um, I'm, I already have some of the ingredients prepped here, but we're going to make a merry cranberry relish. Oh, I like yeah. this. Cranberry. Yeah. This is good so. that Steve isn't here because he does not like cranberries. And so oh, I love cranberries. Oh, wonderful well, choice. Fantastic. To I did bring back the roasted grapes for him, though, so you might, you're, you're forced to like them now. You have to like I'm these going roasted in. grapes. Yeah, yeah, yeah try. Yeah. Okay. okay. You try. Oh, yeah. You try. Oh, sorry, guys. Yeah, you absolutely. try those, and I'll make this. Okay, perfect. I have my own little party over here. <laughs> awesome. Fantastic. All right, so we're going to take, I have two cups of freshly, oh. like, raw cranberries. Aren't those chopped. good? That's yeah. incredible. Okay. So did you chop them, or did you blitz them in the food processor? Food processor. Yeah. Yep. Just really quick. So they're a, a, a larger chunk, if you will. They're not too... Um, processed down, but so then this is going to play on a salsa a little bit. Yeah, yeah it looks yep. Like it. So then we have some fresh cilantro. Oh, great! Nice little brightness. I love this. A little kick with some fresh jalapeno. Oh, bring it uh -huh. on, sister. Good. Yes. Plan. And you never know with a jalapeno. You never know if you're going to get a spicy one. So. What's my husband always say? It's one in six. Oh, one in six like, are that's really spicy. Yeah. 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 And then you never know, and so it feels really refreshing. And I think if they're the fresher they are, the less spicy. Oh. The older they are, the spicier they are. These, oh. these looked very primed, so hopefully <laughs> we're safe. Um, we've got a little bit of sugar right here. And that just probably balances out the tart. Exactly. And then some fresh lemon juice. Okay. So stir all that together. I love how simple this is. Yes. It's not a lot of ingredients. Simple so ingredients, pretty. yes. Yeah. yeah, it looks like a holiday. Totally. And, well, and maybe you guys noticed, but I did choose select ingredients for the board that were Red and green. Oh, we so, noticed, yeah. Jamie. Okay, good. We've got a Don't wreath think of we salami. Didn't notice. Yeah. yeah. This is nice, though. And, you know, what I'm liking, I think the arrangement is what people get mm -hmm. overwhelmed by. And you yeah. sort of did like little trains through yeah. the whole end kind yeah, of little design. I don't know design. how to do it, but. Just yeah. have fun. And the whole Don't goal stress. is just to keep everything very compact, right? Like if you're serving it on a platter like I did here, just make sure everything is is nice and tight. So, so do you want me to put that yes, in here? Yes, I would put that right in that bowl. Oh gosh, this and is so fun. I'll get some of these dishes out it of the way. It does make it easier for you to choose ingredients when yeah. you're going with like a color theme. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, good. And the next thing that we have here, so those roasted grapes I'm actually gonna put oh, right here. Oh, 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 this oh, little oh, salami oh, wreath, oh. if you will. Good job, <laughs> beautiful. And then, and then that goes down in the corner. Yes, that go in the corner. Okay, almost. So now from here, you guys get to build Perfect. your own. Okay, I, this is That's really fun. Right. This is so great. now you get to choose what you want. So on this one, like I said, I have some salami, some roasted grapes, okay. a delicious triple cream brie, some apples, pears, pomegranate seeds. Oh, I love the merry cranberry honey relish. Yep. Going on. Okay, so what do you think? Like, should I do this just on its own? You could, or you could do maybe with like some goat cheese would be a good addition. Okay, for I like what you're doing. I like what you're mm -hmm. doing here. Like yes. And then this is like a bit. balsamic, right? Yes, that's a balsamic glaze. So I like having like something that you can drizzle over it. So I did a balsamic oh, glaze, a some honey, and then um, typically I'll put out a flavored olive oil, but that seems to be missing in action right now. Oh, yeah, now. that's so, fine. It's probably somewhere yeah, in there. Somewhere. Look at this. On okay. the edge, and then you can kind of just everybody hang out and yeah. have a round. You know, we had this tradition when I was growing up. Yeah. 
on Christmas Eve, we would always go to church and we'd have to go to 18 services because my dad was the pastor and it really scarred me for life. But then we would come mm -hmm. home mm -hmm. and Santa comes to pastors' families' homes yeah. on Christmas Eve during mm -hmm. church. And then we would have our wonderful gifts and we would just have tons of appetizers. Yeah. So like my mom would just mm -hmm. spread out all this People kind like of to stuff. do that because right. they want to connect. They no. want to talk. Yeah, they want to have absolutely. a party. They want to yes. sit down necessarily and eat a big thing. So that's Right. Great. And when you're serving so a good. spread like this, you can please the masses. Good. You don't yeah. have to just choose, you know, because I think that a lot of people think that bruschetta is primarily that tomato mixture and basil, and I did do that mm -hmm. here. Um, but you can switch it up. You can choose. People can choose their own. I was just talking to someone. They said, you know, you have people that are vegan or gluten free. You can swap in they ingredients. They can navigate that for yes. themselves. Yes. Perfect. Jamie, yeah, this is really yeah. delicious. That relish. Yeah. Isn't that great? Oh my goodness. It, Super it flavorful. It looks amazing. Oh, yeah. it's like tart yeah. Thank and you. wonderful. Yes. So welcome. we posted these recipes on our website, TwinCitiesLive.com. So you only need four.